scrape up twenty dollars when I probably just drink it down.
welcome to uh, Allard Hall. Welcome to uh, the McEwen University Big Band. And uh, just that last tune was a tune called Straight No Chaser, which uh, you might have heard the Buddy Rich Big Band perform. Uh, that's a uh, Thelonious Monk composition. Um, and uh, on that tune, uh, Braden on drums. Uh, and please also give it up for Jonathan on tenor and JP on trumpet. Great solos. Uh, we, we've got a really great show tonight. We're really excited to be playing for a really full crowd. Thank you for all of you for being here. Um, we have a couple of special guests today. Uh, uh, after our first part of our set, we're going to bring out the McEwen Youth Jazz Orchestra. We're very excited that they're here. They're so important to uh, what we do here at McEwen. Uh, and then also, uh, we brought in a couple of uh, special guests. Uh, we're going to have a, the premiere of uh, a brand new uh, big band chart featuring one of our faculty, and then we're also going to uh, feature another faculty and another tune. So there's a lot of uh, fun surprises today. Uh, so for uh, the second tune, I'd like to bring out uh, our uh, singer, uh, Paige Owen, and we're going to play a really beautiful uh, arrangement of Duke Ellington's Sophisticated Lady, uh, styled by uh, Bob Mincer. So uh, please give it up for Paige Owen.
Please give it up for Paige Owen. We also had a great tenor solo from Byrne. We're going to bring back Paige uh, for the second set. She's going to do three tunes. So, um, so we're going to do, our band's going to do one more tune. Uh, and then we're going to bring out the MYJO for a few tunes. Uh, but I wanted to introduce uh, this next tune because uh, it's kind of special. It's going to be a uh, world premiere of a brand new uh, arrangement. Um, it, it's actually penned by uh, Earl McDonald. Earl McDonald is a Canadian pianist and composer who uh, teaches at University of Connecticut. Uh, is from Winnipeg and uh, has written, uh, has a lot of great big band literature and um, uh, he uh, actually was commissioned to write an arrangement by one of our faculty, which is uh, Gerald Dubik. So uh, to tell you a little bit about Gerald Dubik, he's just a fabulous uh, tenor player and composer and uh, award winner, uh, Western Canadian Music Award. Um, we're really lucky to have him in the city, and I was really lucky that he let us uh, be the first band to put this on stage. And not only that, he's going to actually solo and uh, uh, be uh, play with us. So can everyone please give a huge round of applause to Gerald Dubik. So I, uh, the tune is called, uh, What Do You Want From Me? And I asked Gerald what it's about. And he said, it's sort of like a, a quip or a quarrel between a, qui a quibble between a quibble between people so i what do you want from me yeah hey hey what do you want what do you want from me so i hope that comes out in the music
Gerald Dubik, please. Gerald Dubik's composition. Thanks to Earl McDonald. I think he's watching online. Congratulations, the world premiere of that piece. Okay, so we're going to take a short pause, but you shouldn't go anywhere. The McEwen Youth Jazz Orchestra is going to switch places with us, and we're uh, so happy to have them here. Uh, just if you're not sure about it, the McEwen Youth Jazz Orchestra is uh, something that uh, myself and Sean Bumstead and Jared um, Grieve and also Dr. Craig Brennan, uh, my faculty here. This is a, a project that we worked on for many, many years, and uh, it's been amazing. There's people in this band that were in the McEwen Youth Jazz Orchestra. Hands up. Quite a few. So it's made a huge difference, and we're so pleased to have Sh Sean Bumstead and the McEwen Youth Jazz Orchestra. So when they come on stage, please give them a, a huge welcome. And then after a short intermission, uh, we're going to do a full set, so please stick around. So uh, just one more time for a second for the uh, McEwen University Big Band, please. All right, we are the McEwen Youth Jazz Orchestra, and um, yes, please, thank you, yes. And we have uh, three tunes prepared for you tonight. Uh, the first one we're going to open up the, the set with is called Line Drive by Carl Strauman, and I think it would actually be easier to name pieces of music that Carl Strauman didn't write than ones that he did, because he has written a whole bunch. Here is Line Drive, and... It's going to feature uh, Max Holko on the trumpet, Josh Lavalle on the tenor saxophone, and Brogis Hultberg on uh, the trumpet as well, and then Adam Mandel on the trombone.
right, thank you. Uh, just because we don't have a lot of time, I'm going to introduce the whole band in a lightning round. Uh, we have, in the saxophone section here, um, Emily Booker, Alyssa Ingersoll. You heard Josh Lavalle on the tenor sax. Uh, Leo Skinner and then Aiden Schaefer over there on the berry sax. And then in the trombone section, we have Josh Elangical over on the end, followed by Francis Nelson, Adam Mandel, Kirit Gill, and Kennedy Milna Onushko. In the trumpet section, over on the end, we have Ambrosius Hultberg, and then Max Holko, Aaron Flynn, Peyton Thunder, and I swear I know it. No, Nishka Adakari. <laughs> and our rhythm section holding it down on piano, we have Ika Kremble. Filling in on bass for us this evening, we have, you might have noticed him in the other band. He might be a little bit old for this group, but that's okay. We'll let it slide. Uh, we have Alex Boyvin on bass, uh, Ben Woodridge on drums, and Evan Calm on the guitar. This next song that we're going to do is from everybody's favorite 90s video game, which was made to compete with Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog. Good guess, though. Pac-Man was close, kind of. Uh, this is Spring Yard Zone from the very first Sonic the Hedgehog game, written by Masato Nakamura, who was originally a bass player in a Japanese prog band uh, and a kind of R&B-ish kind of band. Uh, but then Sega hired him and said make music for our Blue Hedgehog game, and he's like, very cool. So this is Spring Yard Zone, and it will feature uh, Leo Skinner on the tenor sax, Ambrosius Hultberg once again on the trumpet, and Francis Nelson on the trombone.
I was never really good enough to make it to that level in Sonic, so I don't really know how it's supposed to sound in the game, but that's okay. Uh, big thanks to uh, Marty Majorowitz and the McEwen Big Band for having us tonight. We are just so stoked to be here, and I know that this is um, their show, so we're happy to be a part of it with them. So thumbs up to them. Our last tune of the evening is going to be uh, Ballistic Brass by Bob Loden, and it's going to feature a whole bunch of people. Josh Elangical on the trombone, Max Holko on the trumpet, Kennedy Milna Onushko on the bass trombone, uh, Josh Lavalli on the tenor saxophone, Ambrosius Hultberg again on the trumpet, and Evan Calm on the guitar. This is Ballistic Brass. I think the title should be pretty self-evident once we get into it.
Just want to congratulate the McCune Youth Jazz Orchestra and the director, Sean Bumstead. Give it up to them one more time. All right, so uh, we're going to have a short 15-minute intermission, and then you can expect a full set of the McCune University Big Band, so don't go too far. See you soon.
Thank you very much. Uh, we are the McEwen University Big Band. And uh, that tune was in, entitled uh, Citation. Uh, and I, I don't think like a citation you get like a traffic incident. Uh, it sounds a little bit more inspiring than that. Uh, but it's actually a tune that is uh, composed by uh, a great uh, German composer, uh, Florian Ross, who writes for the uh, WDR Big Band. And he also uh, teaches in Cologne. And uh, we were very lucky to get a copy of that from him. Uh, and so that featured uh, Jacob on Barry and Jonathan on tenor. So a huge round of applause, please. Uh, this this next tune that I programmed, I programmed it selfishly because um, every week uh, I make a point, uh, and they roll their eyes, but uh, on Tuesday night, hey, who's going to the jam? Hey, who's going to the common? And I'm always asking them, what tunes did they call? What are they calling these days? Because at the jam session, uh, there's a, a shared um, uh, set of tunes that everybody knows, and it sometimes can shift from year to year uh, what tunes are called at these jam sessions. And when I found out that nobody plays in your own sweet way, I had to make a change. So I programmed this one. This is Dave Brubeck, a uh, great uh, tune of his, uh, if you've ever heard of Take Five or anything like that, uh, and a John Watson arrangement. And so I'm excited to uh, uh, show you in your own sweet way. Here we go. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. That was in your own sweet way. Can we give a huge round of applause to Maxim on the old saxophone? And Theo, great solo on the on flugelhorn. Um, so uh, one of the first records that I ever uh, uh, heard uh, was actually um, Count Basie from the pen of Benny Carter, and this tune was on it. So, uh, this is Amoroso. It's uh, the Count Basie band uh, and their take on a Latin tune. And uh, we're going to feature Byrne and Zane and the, uh, the percussion section, including a few new percussionists uh, that we've added to the mix. So we hope you enjoy Amoroso.
Give it up for Byrne on the tenor. And Zane on the trumpet. And our substitute percussionists and the real ones. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, we're going to actually invite out our singer to do the last three tunes of the night. I'm very excited uh, that this year we have Paige Owen on vocals, and we're going to start off with a Nestico arrangement called Teach Me Tonight, and we hope to teach you a little bit about jazz. That one's a lot of fun. Try to lay back as much as possible against the rhythm section. Uh, all right, so the next tune we're going to do uh, is um, a tune uh, by a Canadian composer, uh, very prolific, uh, one of the all-time greats. Some might say some of the, the music that Kenny Wheeler wrote, some of the most beautiful ever written. So uh, this is from his last record before he passed away. It's called 456, and uh, I wanted to... Uh, bring in uh, one of our great faculty to help us with this one. Uh, we're very fortunate at McKean University on trumpet uh, and also many other classes as well as running one of the McKean Youth Jazz Orchestras. Uh, we have a very fine trumpet player, Jared Grieve. Uh, and so can we have a huge round of applause? He's going to play the part of Kenny Wheeler today. So come on on stage. Please welcome Jared. <laughs> Uh, you know, um, 
Uh, we do have another tune before this, but uh, I just want to make sure uh, before we go on in the concert, uh, I want to make sure to thank uh, just a couple people, and I've got some more thank yous after this. But um, uh, I really need to thank the previous director of this group, uh, who's uh, Raymond Burry, who is the chair of music here at McKinney University, and he's been affiliated with, universe, uh, with the, the McEwen uh, since its uh, inception, really. And this band, uh, he's, uh, he was basically directing this band since 1984. And uh, I was very fortunate that he uh, passed the torch and he's thrown his uh, support behind me and always has great um, um, things to help me along and uh, uh, make me feel uh, welcome. So I really appreciate uh, Ray Bury and all the things that he's done for McEwen and for me and for the band. So can we have a huge round of applause for Raymond Bury. Uh, and uh, there's more to thank, but also I'd like to thank um, uh, Alan Gillen, who's our, uh, who is the dean, and uh, he's been extremely supportive of all the things in this building. He really turned this place into a community hub, and um, uh, he really has put his stamp on McEwen. I'm so fortunate that I've been able to be a part of uh, what he's helped create here. So I'd like to thank Alan for everything that he's done. Okay, so uh, enough talk. So uh, we're now going to feature Jared Grieve, and also you'll see Paige is on stage. So um, Paige is going to become part of the ensemble in the Kenny Wheeler big band. He always had a singer, Norma Winstone. So Paige is going to do her Norma Winstone impression, and uh, Jared's going to do his Kenny Wheeler impression. And uh, uh, hopefully you don't see me. So uh, enjoy Four, Five, Six by Kenny Wheeler.
Jared Grieve on the trumpet. Paige Owen on the voice. And we had Alex on guitar and Alex on bass, and we also had um, uh, Maxim on saxophone. A lot of people on that one. Uh, all right, well, there, we've come, thank you. Uh, we've come to the last tune of the night, uh, and I've programmed a tune that uh, has been played many times uh, in the, the history of the McEwen um, uh, big band. And in fact, when I was in the McEwen big band, we played this tune, and it was really hard. I saved the, the hard one for last, the fun one. Um, we're going to play uh, Ellington's It Don't Mean a Thing If It uh, Ain't Got That Swing. Uh, but the joke is that there's only a re really small swing section in it. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, I have to thank uh, everyone uh, front of house, uh, the lights, the, um, the sound was incredible tonight, uh, everyone working behind the scenes. Uh, we really appreciate what everyone does here to make uh, this hall uh, work, and uh, we're really lucky to have it. So give a huge uh, round of applause for those behind the scenes. And uh, before we play the last tune, I also just want to thank the band. Uh, I, it was a real pleasure to teach you this year, uh, go some places we've never been, and go to a few places we have. And um, uh, I, I'm, I'm proud of what you did, and uh, you should be proud of your accomplishments this year. So a huge round of applause to the McEwen Big Band. tune and uh, thank you for being here thank you for being a wonderful crowd and we're looking forward to
the McEwen University Big Band. Thank you very much for being here. Congratulations on your 2023-2024 season. Thanks very much for all of you being here. I hope to see you at many more McEwen shows. Good night. Thank you to everybody. Congratulations, guys. You deserve it.